hello internet world and such a big place um welcome to ah bespoke and tonight's carving um is going to be texturing it's going to be the lesson essentially guys so there'll be a bit of uh andy sound going on oh excuse me um andy sound going on um so I'll be interacting with you guys. If you've got any questions, let me know. Um, I have two of wonderful earworms. Let me bring you guys back in. Um, we have Mark, the gentleman wood turner, and we have Dale, Maple Tree Studios, both legends in their field. Thank you, gentlemen. Huh? Yes, it's a small Thank field. It's more of a paddock. <laughs> <laughs> Possibly, okay. possibly, possibly back lawn, yeah. Um, so uh, I'll pop you guys off screen again, if that's all right. Sorry, nice and short. Yeah. Um, cool. Done. <laughs> Sorry. I'll flick the camera down, um, and I'll show you what we're going to be working on. Sorry, Jaff Cake Coffee. Mm, yummy. I've ordered some. Right. <laughs> so I've ordered some on your recommendation. Definitely, mate. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Right, let me uh, if I can see the chat as well. Hi, guys in the yeah. chat. Um, yeah, so, well, stop. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Jaffa cake toilet paper. Um, so I'm yeah. thinking a few different textures um, on different objects. We've got this one. Just slightly thicker, but essentially the same as this one. Both from they Apple. Look, they look nice. Um, they are lovely. Um, I was a little bit concerned about them cracking to start with. The blank seemed to start be starting to crack after having cut it. So I thought, quick, let's get them sorted um, and in shape. So if they crack and warp, so be it. It's done um add to the effect so we've got those first projects then next we have a spatula slightly different texturing type technique that we're going to try out on this one um it's very simple it's a very simple spatula you guys are all quite capable of making one of these i know um very simple and the last projects we have ah bespoke beard combs yes we ah, do. mine isn't long enough to need one of them these will be up on my etsy once they're finished um they're all slightly different ever so slightly um f um but i want to texture them only ever so slightly also I don't know if you can see on this one, it's actually got the drill holes right at the top, stop it splitting up. So we need to do those um, on these two. So we'll start with the big one. Sorry. Funny you knew somebody who had a beard. Well, yes, if only. Um, can you can you use them elsewhere? I mean, not just beards, but you know, oh, well, you other could... other parts that may be hairy, like you know, up your head. Uh, you, yes, I was wondering where you were going with that then. Oh, that's, your inner, that's, that's your inner demon speaking, mate, not mine. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was starting to panic. Uh, how well, I was, I was trying to play through kind of thing, so like your moustache, your beard, top of your head, you know. Palm of your hands. Yeah. <laughs> right, no, no, not in my case, but that's all right. <laughs> okay, armpits. Glenn suggests armpits. <laughs> Well, there's a suggestion. Um, right, let's just uh, get those bits out. I don't want those ones. Yeah. Well, should we go through everything so far? Yes, please do. Please do. Uh, you've got uh, Nick, Flaming Turner. Hi, Nick. Tommy Dunn. Ian in the shed. Hi, Tommy. Hi, Ian. Rivy Woodshed. Hi, yeah. The King of Grit, Glenn Senior. Hi, Glenn. Herb Hooper. Hi, Herb. And Podkite would turn in. Hello, PJ. Right. Now, what I actually want to do is I'm going to do these ones first. Let's start with these ones because they're 
relatively simple these ones i'm going to use the ball end and what i essentially want is like a hammered effect on the handle part okay so oh we've got wayne hold on i think he's here yeah cool evening Wayne's sir world evening sir good evening right let me know if it's too loud it shouldn't be is that okay uh yeah i think that's all right i do feel that you know i mean that i'm gonna wind up with two felons after it though <laughs> cool i'll tell you what i'll mute myself for this bit Right, essentially what I am doing with this ball end um, for now, for now. is just putting ever so slight pressure on that. gets giving it like a, a sort of, uh, I don't know if you can see, like a, you see the little ridges there in the corner? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, mate. Ever so slight hammered effect. So I'm just going to go across there and do that section, possibly the other side. We'll see. But it shouldn't take too long. I'll be as quick as I can, and then we can move take on. Take your time, man. Take your time. Let's make okay. sure we... Okay. Well, well, I... Hello, Mr. Wayne. Fancy meeting you here. Oh, man, I think Wayne must be switching from being on mute to off mute. Yes, how unusual that is. <laughs> Hello, Wayne. Emmett's out in the chat. Hi, Emmett. Bass is in. Hello, Bass. Le Barry the Bro. Le Barry the Bro. The Kentish Han Solo. Dead Rise Woodcross, who's that? Emmett. That's Emmett, that's it, all right. Hello, Joe. Joe Senior. Hey, Joe. Hey, Joe. That's the song. <laughs> hey. I was, I hey, was it. Whenever I start into it, I think of that line from AI, uh, from, mm -hmm. uh, from the movie AI, and then I stop. AI, I don't think I've seen that one. Uh, I'm being accused of being a Mr. Jaffa. I feel that's uh, that's cakeish. It's accurate. It's not true. It's not true. I mean, I said only a portion of my mass is possibly Jaffa cakes at any one time. I used to love Jaffa cakes. <clears throat> Jaffa coffee, mate. That's your solution right there. Yeah, I'm a bit interested in that. Jaffa coffee. You can get Jaffa gin too. Yeah, see, you can, you can, you can, you can, you can yeah. return to the fold. <laughs> yeah. I have a feeling Wayne is uh, busy eating his cheeseburger supper. He's having a cheeseburger supper, the jammy sod. Half an hour, uh, in half an hour, according to the clock. Actually, it might be a bit quicker than that. I've got to take the meds. So uh, if you hear me rattling, you'll understand why. Yeah, no problem. I made sure I did my injections before I started. Cool. Mm -hmm. Here we go. We got Tommy done. Mm -hmm. uh, did we get Tommy earlier? Yeah, we got Tommy earlier. Yeah, we got Tommy. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. I may have to buy one in the hope that one day I have a beard long enough to use it. Yeah. I certainly won't get it. I certainly won't get it through my my the demi wave in my crew cut. That's for sure. Be a good uh, scalp massager. Um, Glenn Senior is asking, Dale, Joe is asking what part of the hollowed 
Jaffa cake. <clears throat> the hello Jaffa cake. So, so Joe, I'm one of these. I'm one of these absolute barbarians that puts the whole thing in in one go. God, how you copy that? Huh? We bloody can. That's how you're supposed to eat them. Any dude that takes bites out of them is obviously trying to be posh. Watch out for pinky yeah. raising. Watch out for pinky raisage uh, whenever you, that occurs. You eat round the edge. <clears throat> just leave the, the orange. Eat round the edge. Just leave the orangey bit with the cake underneath. So let me ask and you a question. You, do, do you have a fetish for like strange leather clothes or something like that? You know, that <laughs> would. <laughs> I, I, I may or may not do. You know, because there's always, there's always, when people start eating things in a bizarre way, you have to sort of stroke your beard and go, I bet this person has certain tastes. Dale, now it's in coffee form, you can have it intravenously. I had that thought, mate, when you said it, kind of thing, because the appetite has clearly not come back yet. <laughs> oh, really? You still struggling for. Yeah. That sort of stuff? Oh, dude. Oh, Wayne's gone. I want to. Yeah. Quiet. It's. I mean, <clears throat> I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm eating properly, but you know, I mean, the enthusiasm to eat is still quite low because I'm still in the aunties. Oh, that's not good, man. I'm hoping by the time the hundred Jaffas turn up with from Scott on Sunday, that uh, the appetite will have been regained. Failing that, they're going in the fridge <laughs> with the lock on it until at least until he goes. Yep, absolutely. I may take one box out and say, "Ah, yeah, Wayne's Thanks, World." Man. Oh God! I don't know what the bloody hell is going on here. So Tommy's agreeing with me. Definitely in one. Oh, no one needs to Jaffa cake at a time. Dead rise. That that ruins the experience. So, Glenn, I feel like the question must be returned. Uh, and asking Joe if she if she does partake of the the, the Jaffa, how does she eat them? They'll be melted yeah. by the time I get to, to... Oh, Baza says he'll look after them for me. No, Baza. No, you'll be shipping them to France and exchanging them for something. No, I don't know. No. Qua croissants. No, a few croissants would be sufficient. He'd be after some some sort of chocolatey good goodness from Belgium. Some patissier. Yep. Yep. He skims across the water on the Millennium Sparrow. Do you actually think a hundred will arrive with Scott? Well, see, I'm not sure you can count. And one and spits the box back out, says Glenn Senior, a lady after my own heart. That's why we all love Joe. Oh. <laughs> So I, I have very, very, very conflicted with, it depends what you're dipping it in, Wavy. I feel you should try, try slightly soft strawberry ice cream, dipping it in that, or a strawberry milkshake. It's quite, it's quite a, it's quite a confusing yet somehow tasty thing. Nick, Nick's back in the chat. Hi, Nick. Hello, Nick. Nick, Nick, you're turning up the chat. Set the dogs off. Whose dogs, though? <laughs> I think they must be Wayne's. Who let the dogs out? In this case, probably Jane. Yeah, they were mine. <laughs> uh oh. Do you oh, require some? Do you, do you require some assistance? Later on. Later on. Okay. Oops. It's a, a white tooth comb now. I'm sorry? He's just broken one of the teeth off. These are always the challenges, though. That's for the bald bit. Certainly, need be, it need be all the, all the teeth removed if we're going down that road for me. And me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need a comb, I need a buffing brush. <laughs> T 
Tommy, chocolate, chocolate digestives go well in dunking in tea. Chocolate digestives? Ah, I mean, uh, so, so StreamYard's caught up. Ah, to be honest, Dale, I'm like you, down on one. Good man. Ian is asking, have, we, have I ever tried Jaffa Cake? Didn't know of its existence, no Andy made me aware of it just a few, just a, a little while ago. Um, I've ordered some to try it out. So uh, again, joking at cream egg in one go, Joe, you're just an amazing lady. I do exactly the same thing. There's an idea, cream egg. So I never had cream eggs. No, you say like they're uh, an ended thing. They're not. <laughs> they're still with us. <laughs> well, they're, they're ended for me. <coughs> oh, you can uh, you can blend them up and get uh, cream egg ice cream. God, no, I can't think of anything worse. It's all it's lovely. It's lovely. It's, it's lovely. You've got to try it. It's lovely. Did you say it was lovely? It's lovely, mate. You've got to try it out. It's lovely. I had my first ice cream for two years last week. Really? Good man. Yeah. You do get ice cream that takes into account the level of sugar that it's implanting upon you? Uh, yeah, it did. Uh, well, I think you remember. I did tell you what my, my numbers were afterwards. Yes, quite impressive. <laughs> I did. I did slightly OD on insulin. Andy, would I, I mean, have you gone specifically for the the larger drill bit to create the endpoint so that it, it doesn't continue cracking up inside the comb? Is it is it deliberately to, to do the keyhole, um, um, or is it really just to create that endpoint? Um, you know, is it just a drill bit? It's quite you know. The I end just point. Wondering. Yeah. Rather than, uh, rather than the um, thing continuing to split all the way up. Right. And then okay, snapping so in half, do you know what I mean? It's yeah, just, so it's to arrest any cracking. Hopefully. Although, obviously, this one, I'm going to have to leave that one. Um, I got a bit too close. That's just going to snap if I, do, if I do anything to it. And it's not, that's not going to be a sellable one. That's just going to be a good piece of set around. Show them piece. You can try, try it on your, try it on your gorse bush. Oh, uh, uh, Oh, it's a, a comb for the party. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I need to make a dread comb, really. I don't you well, have one, 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 one for two, Judge Dread? <laughs> don't you have two teeth? Just so you could get the dreads either side. Anyway. Tommy, the soggy bits at the end of the cup of tea, they're the best bit. Well, Glenn's been reading engineering books. Is he? He has. But that's riveting. But that's riveting. Boom, boom. It's for future reference, Andy. Might need to think about some reflect, some sort of bounce surface for the light. It's quite washing out the very light material. Stuff towards the back's quite good. Stuff right to the front's getting a lot of light. It's quite quite washed out. Yeah, it's bleached out, isn't it? And then you put an Andy in the way, like you just did, and it becomes all lovely. 
Yeah. Oh, there we go. There you go. Look at that. Yeah, that's better. You can see the tech. You can see the texturing that you've just made, mate. Because of the black so surface. Is, setting behind. Ian said. He, Ian said he spent all day reading science books, so he's going to go for a pint soon. Fix his brain. Oh, this is perfect material for going down the pub with. You know, that way you can talk about what you've learned. What science books have you been reading, Ian? There we go, Andy. That's perfect. The existential existence of particle beam acceleration. You made that shout up. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I'm nowhere near that clever. <laughs> Uh, Tommy out in the chat agrees with us, Andy. That's better with the shadow there. That's strange, that guy. <coughs> in, Chris, in Chris Parker's live the other day, he's actually painted his lathe black to stop any, because he, he's got a, a jet lathe, which is white, and he's mm -hmm. painted black to stop any reflection. Yeah. Mad. What's going on here is the, the black surface, the camera's CCD is seeing the black surface, so it's adjusting to the larger area. So the just like your eye, um, it works just like your eye, the iris in your eye. So the, because it's mostly black, the little white dots, so the white areas are washed out because there's too much light getting in. So in this case, the camera's making that adjustment. You know, and what it's doing is it's looking at the darker area and and and, and setting its its brightness as it were, as you will to the blacker area rather than to the the lighter object by dulling down the what the lighter object's reflectivity. You can see we can see it all right. That's why the more the more balanced the color you've got, the less the less uh, difficulties you have. That's why the, the it's always a good idea to have lots of surfaces with actually lots of reflected out rather rather than direct light. That's old photography trickery. Nothing to do with tubes. Here in the shed says, that cross theory and practice of histological techniques. That's easy for him to say. I wrote a, a paper once on applying applying um, second law of third thermodynamics to, <coughs> to um, incident management and workload and workload um, management within IT systems based on hysteresis point. There you go. So that, it wasn't that long ago. It wasn't that long ago. It was only about nine years ago. The smartest thing I ever did was my dissertation. Suddenly, the correlation between wind farms and property prices. Cool. I would imagine they go up. They do, if they're marketed properly. Of course. They can in increase by up to 20%. Can. But if you originally sold your property at a distance based on the view, the negativity, I would imagine, depending on, I suppose it would depend on the catchment area you were looking at, I think. Yeah. You know. it, it all comes down in the end, it all came down to correct marketing. Yeah. The one over in, in Kelly, uh, in and around the back of Kelly, Wayne is, is, is fair getting bigger and bigger and bigger every time I go up. I mean, it's horrific. The Eaglesham, Eaglesham Moor one, I forget what it's called. Yeah. I mean, it just it's, I mean, it's it's huge. Between here, yeah, between here in, in Glasgow, uh, going up to seventy four, yeah, um, they just sprout, they just sprouting up all over the place. Yeah, our, our, our closest one is uh, about three miles from here. Yeah, I was going to say that isn't one um, far from here. No, it's about three mile, and the, the village actually gets um, some money back from the the company that, that runs them. Cool. I live about 12 miles from 
one of the very first commercial wind farms that uh, was built in the country down near Camelford. So I always thought it was really interesting when the Heinz factory in and around the Midlands put two wind farms up. I mean, this is obviously the same Heinz factory that makes beans. First time I saw that, I wet myself laughing. You know, <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect irony. <laughs> <coughs> Ow. You right, mate? Yeah, just moving. Ooh. Isn't Ratul supposed to go with that? <laughs> Andy, isn't Ratul supposed to go with that Fabby Doo little belt? Andy. I don't know if I say that. <laughs> I was going to say Andy is the tool. <laughs> Glenn Senior says that. you need a 16% grey mat. That's a good show. Tommy Dunn says, Mark, I'm glad you read that bit out. Yeah, it was a struggle. <laughs> Good, mate. Yep. Oh, David's just come in. Good evening, David. You must be seeing that on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's those two. I'm happy with those two. For them to one side, we call those um, done. Give them a uh, when I've finished, at the end, I'll um, put some um, light oil on them. Um, I think I've actually got my wax somewhere, so I will go and put that on those. Right. Anyway, spatula. Right. Spatula. It's very basic, let's be honest, this, and this is a practice piece. I wouldn't use this anyway, partly because of the uh, dry rot that's in it. I just, it's a bit minging. Um, but it's just a practice piece just to show a couple of potential ideas. Um, go on. It's got a nice shape to it. Oh, well, thank you. Um, it's very similar to the one that my mum, mother used to use to uh, discipline me when I was a child. I'm sure you never needed that. Uh, you, uh, no. I bet, bet you did. <laughs> never. Never. Even now. Never. Don't be silly. <laughs> um, yeah, so um, there's a couple of different things that we could do with in terms of texturing you could go for a line texture you could go for any kind of pattern you wish it's quite simple and effective there are other ways other people do things differently to me there is this isn't the be all and end all so obviously if it works for you go for it um right let me find the one that i was looking for What word is that spatula? How big is it? And what wood is it? What wood is it? Cedar. A cedar, is it right? Okay. Yeah. 
it's um, some of the offcuts, I think, from um, one of the dancers that I was doing this week. I'm sorry, did you say one of the dancers you were doing this week? Yeah, she had nothing special, though, mate. <laughs> um, bear with me. She had nothing special. But I'll show you as soon as you mention. Oh, oh, too close. Oh, yes, she's lovely. Very nice. Looking yeah. very nice, mate. Very nice. Very simple, simple carving. Not, not fancy in any shape or form. Like it though. Like primitive it much. Style, primitive style. Like it muchly. Cool. I'm pleased. My missus likes that one too. Well, if you're going to do a detail one, you need to remember that women have got boobs. Uh, really? Is that what the wife said? Is that what the wife said? Yeah. She said that to you. Yeah, I know. Oh, handy hair. It's a handy tent. I mean, you'd think you'd noticed by now, kind of thing. I mean, you're well. You would have thought. Well, so. What with you being, what with you being, you know, chap. Yeah, yeah. It's like uh, trying to teach her. Well, anyway, but let's just kind of... <laughs> okay. So I'm going to go with. Um... <laughs> simple line effect on this one. Now, this particular one, I don't know if you can actually see that. Oh, 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 he's going out of focus. Basically, it's got a flat end, and I think it's like a diamond tip type there. Now, you can use these for like very fine lines, so things like um, if you were doing a feather, for example, you could literally, it takes scores a line, essentially. So you can do the feather lines. You could, Obviously, it'll take you ages, but you could still do the each individual hair and le um, of the feather. Likewise, mm -hmm. with like fur and things like that. Very, very good. Um, so is it, is it like a dovetail shape, Andy? Um, it's got a flat end, so the top tip yeah. of it is flat, and then it's yeah. like concave. It's sort of, um, <clears throat> it's almost like well, someone's just ground that bit down in the centre. Yeah, so it, it, it is a bit like a like a dovetail. Then. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or a hollow, hollow ground bevel. A what? A hollow ground bevel. Yeah. There we go. So I said, I, I said a hologram bevel. I'm gonna. I, I want to make this kind of like a, a feathery type effect going down. So we'll do like twist lines all the way down. Oh, he's still got a foot and pin. Um, and then at the bottom, I'm gonna um, have like a fingernail type shape. I think that's the only way I can describe it. Um, you'll see when I get there. Right, I'll mute myself for this because it's just going to be annoying otherwise. Considerably noisy. How is shop duty, sir? Quiet. Very, very quiet. We had nine people in all day. Nine more than, than you would have had a few weeks ago? Perhaps? Well, I definitely seems that we weren't open mm -hmm. a few weeks ago. It'll build up slowly. I would imagine there's a whole raft of people who are quite, who've got a little bit comfortable being just at home. That would once upon a time have planned every weekend to go off and do stuff. They're still a little uncertain about the world at the moment. Yeah, I mean, there are holiday makers about, certainly. Mm -hmm. Um. So, I mean, that's that's a bonus. Don't start Baz. Sorry. What's Baz up? 
Don't even acknowledge it. Yes, Tommy. Um, Tommy's just asking if they're letting people into Scotland yet. Yes, they are, Tommy. Uh, Scotland is slowly opening up. The travel restrictions are basically uh, out the window now, so uh, you don't have to stay within a five-mile radius of your home, uh, so uh, travel's open. I think hotels and stuff, bars and things like that are opening next Wednesday, I think it is, the 15th. Cool. They're going to be opening up in Scotland. I'm going to try to go up in August, I think. So, yeah, I'll be starting to do um, one-to-one tuition again, starting in August. I used to love going to Scotland. I used to go two or three times a year, every year. So I've kind of changed my idea of what I'm going to do. I'm actually okay, going to make into like scale type looking things. So um, you'll see me go one way with the cross, the other way with the cross, and then we'll go with the scales. You'll see what I'm doing in a minute. Sorry. Carry on. So Ian's just said he's going to be in touch. Thank you, Ian. Look forward to that. So apart from watching Mark's live at lunchtime, I've been watching the cricket all day. And no, no, and no, no of this cricket of which you speak. <laughs> Are we still losing? Uh, I think it's going to end up being a draw, Mark. The way things are going. Damn and blast. Do you not like cricket, then, Dale? Scottish, mate. It's just alien. No, it isn't. Scotland's got some good teams. Still alien. The same as football Thank is in Scotland. Well, yeah. alien. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. That's why I Definitely. used to play rugby. That's why I used to play rugby. That's pretty alien, too, recently. No, you guys, you guys can try and wake me up. I'm just not in the mood. I've got too much drugs in me. Ain't gonna happen. Seventeen watching, Andy. Only eleven thumbs up, folks. If you like what Andy's doing. Please, please, please hit that thumbs up. That's a point. <laughs> Done. I was distracted earlier, that's why I didn't do it. Were you? What was the name? I wish. It's a funny name, but, you know. Stop it, Baza. I've just seen Baza. Like, StreamYard for me is really slow in the comments. I've had to switch to YouTube. I've just seen yeah. Baza's comment going past. Yeah, it's slow for me as well, so. Yeah, I've so I've, on the phone next yeah I've switched after. over to YouTube to, to pick that up. Speaking of rugby, the Lions tour to SA got postponed. Yes, that's a bit disappointing. Let's hope, uh, you know, I mean, I'm partial to, I'm partial to a bit of 
watching the Lions play. Actually, I wanted to. I'm a huge fan of the. I'm a huge fan of the sevens when they're twicking them. It's one of the advantages of being this far down. I like the sevens. I like the quick format. Yep, it's good. Yeah, have a bit of fun. <clears throat> that was the game I used to play. Uh, to answer your question, Tommy, it's it's a good five to ten minutes behind. JP's in the house. He says it's not 9.15 on Monday already, is it? Huh? Yes, JP, you've been asleep all weekend. You've missed the podcast. You've broke your run. Yeah, you missed your premiere as well. And Twickenham solved the how many beer, how many glasses of beer you can take back to the chairs by giving you two pint glasses, which I feel is most appreciated. Good thinking, man. Especially for what we've had. <coughs> well, I can't see me having any booze for about another week. Okay, so this is just a flat angle. Well, there's a slight, it's a slight tip on it, I suppose. So not quite a flat angle. Um, again, Diamond Burr. I'm just going to take off the edges, round the edges, to give it a 3D type effect. Yes, you can see the lines, but cool. at the moment it's just lines. It's definition. Cool. You're going to stain it, Andy, to dry out the lines. <laughs> Burn it. <laughs> okay. Can't beat a bit of flame. Yes, you can. Oh yeah, you can. You can beat a bit of wet cloth, I suppose. Kind of mate, the object, mate, we are really learning a lot about why you eat Jaffa cakes around the edges, kind of thing. You know, what I mean, we're discovering all these inner demons. You know, what I mean, live on air. I have, I have untold inner demons, <laughs> and they're all a He's... bit strange. He's using the Dremel to draw out the lines. Dale laughs out loud. Says JP. Oh, Bob Lapsy's just come in. Evening, Bob. Hello, Bob. Hello, Bob. 21 watching, Andy. Good evening, Bob. You tried to say that like Blackadder. Didn't work. Yeah, no, my voice can't do that. I can't do it either, so it's all good. Bob, see? You've got to be a, you've got to be a Ron Atkinson-esque type character. Yeah, only he can do it. Bob. There we go. Bob. Or, an, or an Andy. So Bob's asking if you uh, ho or hopes you're well, Deal. Thank you very much, Bob. We're uh, we're certainly surviving so far. Though though I'm not going to lie, my enthusiasm for 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 eating is somewhat in the uh, is somewhat demised a little bit. For the next for the oh. last week or so, so we'll see how that works out. Won't do the waistline any harm, I think. That'll be the antibiotics, won't it? It's almost certainly. I mean, you can practically. I can. I. I it, there's so much antibiotics in me. I can almost taste it, if that makes sense. Yeah. Um. You know what that's like, mate. You know, it's, yeah. it's, it's just absolutely loaded with them. Um, 
and no deals just down to six meals a day. It's a very, it's, it's a good shout. It's much less than that, though. You know, I mean, I'm approaching normality too. It's not even that way, and it's just the scale. You know, I mean, the the scale of them is much like this is all right. It's got to be because it's messing with my palate. It's got to be something really sharp to 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 get through. Yeah. I had uh, I think about four or five separate chest infections while I was in hospital mm. because of the because of the intubation, mm -hmm. and uh, they used to just hook bags. That's bags exactly what I That's it. One every two hours. Yeah. Two grams. One every two hours. Just whack it into him. And the, the well, they start off they start off gentle, um, and then they watch your blood pressure. And if your blood pressure is all right, they bump the dose, and they bump the dose, and they bump the dose until yeah. they until you you start you start you start approaching the. They, they had to, but for me, they, like I said, they had to. They just went arresting the infection. So, you know, but much obliged to the doctors and nurses, at East Surrey Hospital. For the kindness. So the did patients. they get down to what? Did they get down to what the infection was? So it's 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 prostitutes. So, but it got into the bone. Right. All oh, right. And then, okay. And and then it went nuts. It literally went nuts. Space of twenty four hours. Um, by the time I'd reported, it was already all on my forearm and climbing up my arm, kind of thing. So they managed to arrest it before it really crossed over into my chest. But by the point it's in your bone and it's climbing up your arm, it doesn't matter that it started life. It's called being called bursitis. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know. Oh, James Cassidy's just come in. Hey, James. Hello, James. Well, oh, that was sounded very formal. Hello, James. Hello, James. Oh, Dale, I meant to tell you. My, uh, my sister wants to say thank you for trying to corrupt her grandson. Her awesome. Name. Awesome. <laughs> Anytime. Yes. I asked them simple questions. You know what I mean? This is, that's where we're going to be. And, and, and then no attempt was made to corrupt <laughs> them beyond that. <laughs> <laughs> I asked his opinion of what he was comfortable with. That was a, you know what to, I mean? She wanted to know who was the cheeky Scotsman. <laughs> of course. You know, just ask the chap, ask the young man exactly where are you at, mate? What are you comfortable with? Have mm. you seen Deadpool? If you've seen Deadpool, I uh, no holes barred. Yeah, no, he loved it. Good. He's made up. Hello, and he's a spare. Oh, there he is. Yay! Here's what he made earlier. I was going to say that kind of thing. I don't like, normally like tomatoes, John, but these are delicious. Oof. <laughs> right. Um, where's right? Right. Okay, so I'm going to brush it down because obviously I've just burnt it's, it. It's a bit singed. -y. Um, I'm just going to use the fiber brush, not the coarse brush or anything like that and I'm not even going to go too mad with the speed oh come on get in there, there we go. So it doesn't need high speed on this one right out of the way
should be starting to polish it as well at the same time, which it is. Mm -hmm. Almost a snake skin type effect coming up. I might actually keep this one, quite like it. Oh, he's getting all excited about fire. I'm not showing fire. No, no, we've done that. Might do it on the uh, on the sculpture, maybe. Um. That's in every way. Right, let me see. Make Remind me to show you those um, Malaysian uh, Petra carving when you're up. Andy. Cool. Right, maybe there with that one, this one as well. Right, finish this one. As soon as it's been used in the kitchen, and we'll soak it in olive oil. Yeah, the beard's in. Evening, Richard. Hi, Rich. It's Andy's naughty paddle, so behave yourself. Hey, Richard. So we got like a, a textured type effect on that. Must be wiping it down with something. Just to draw, off, take the dust off. I'm trying to think what would, you know, just to draw the 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 suit out of the backcloth. I, I can wee on it. You could okay. wee on it. That would work. <laughs> uh, bear with me. I'll get alcohol. He's going with he's going with urea. He's going for urea as the as the material. No, he's not going to wee I'll on it. I'll be back. That... I'll be back. No, I'm joking. Oh, oh bugger. Good evening, Mr. Beard. How the devil are you? Eva's just come in. Hello, Eva. How are you? Good evening, Eva. Beard, but uh, what did I do? With... Oh, really? Come on, yeah, do, 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 do. Uh -huh. so I misread Tommy's uh comment. It says, Hi, Rich, hi, Eva. What I read was, Hi, Rich, T. <laughs> <laughs> You're obsessed with biscuits. Mate, it's just a thing. It's a, it's a thing. It's a thing. Just a thing. Ooh, need to get me some more of that. I 
just sat here polishing my mushroom. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so I just want everyone to make sure everyone heard that. You know, I mean, young, young, uh, the gentleman Wood Turner is currently setting about polishing his mushroom. Yeah, I'm okay, you. Yeah. You know, and whatever makes that happen for you, sir, I'm okay with. <laughs> Andy, you're better off camera, mate. You want to be just just a bit higher than the Dremel sticker. That's it. Okay. Right. Oh. There we go. Look at that. It's brighter the colours of the rest of the wood. It's probably the, the brown of the wood and the black. It looks much much cleaner too. Nice, like it. Cool. Yeah. It's another one. We said Dan, right. Now the monsters. Uh, yeah, young Barry saying, ha ha, getting ready to take one for the team, Mark. Uh, Nick the Flaming Tunnel says Mark just make sure you're finished before you come back on screen lol yes James yeah. Cassidy says let us hope it's just his mushroom um, and Tommy to Tommy offers this and say uh, and I'm nibbling on nuts he says oh mushrooms and nuts my word all we need now is Hattie Jakes. Uh, <laughs> oh, I genuinely thought you were going to get burst into song then. Yeah. All we need is love. No, 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 no. Earlier on, there was going to be a rendition of 99% um, of all gargos look like Bob Todd. But then I realized the only person that probably knew what it was was me. So I'll just shut up. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> It's on the radio today. All right. mm -hmm. I had to turn it up. It's been a while since I'd heard the uh, beach rules. James, James Cassidy says, Dave, we're showing your age with that one with Hattie Jakes. There's a long re there's a many reasons why Hattie Jakes has entered into my 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 consciousness recently. The first is she always reminds me of my mum. Whenever I see her, my mum and her were almost could have been sisters. Um um, and the second one is obviously having spent time in hospital recently. Every time I clapped eyes on a matron, that's who I thought about. Oh, matron. Oh, no. Um, no, I've kind of done that one. Although, yeah. Let's see how it goes with Apple. I'm not sure how this cut is going to work with the Apple, but. Hold on a minute. Does that make Mike Mark the gentleman would turn said James? Yeah, well, I think I've said. Can't think of his name. <clears throat> so Beard Sixteen has just discovered chewing the fat on YouTube. Good man. Actually, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to make the inside of this curve a feature that's what i'm going to do so definite defi definitive line from the top all the way around giving it an edge and then it'll be this bit inside because i'll do the same on the other side it'll just be the inside that gets the texture i think contrast smooth young huey's in the chat young huey's in the chat hi huey hello hi. huey so, oh, you. 13, 14. 24 watching, Andy. Cool beanios. That's a nice Boom. one. And 20 thumbs. All right. Well, hopefully 40 thumbs. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Right, this is just for my 
reference more than anything else where I want to go with the uh, edge line if you like that's going to go all the way around oh be right back gents Gonna come back in a second, rattling. Cool. No worries. Yes, Eva, he's made uh, three combs and a spatula. And now these are art forms. Shape. Yeah, like um, modern art forms, like a flame. It's kind of a flame or a wave, even. I tell you, they make uh, they make nice bookends. Yeah. Yep, yeah, this is true. They're both the same. I think this one's actually slightly thicker, but curve to curve. Yeah. That way, yeah, that way. That would look good. Also, could be a representation of a fish hook, maybe, or a tow hook, maybe. Do you know what I mean? It looks a bit like yeah. a tow. Uh, there you go. Very Viking inspired, I think. Wow. Well, it's just as well you're a Viking then, isn't it? Well, that's it. That's fortunate. Um, right. Yeah, now I'm going to go back on mute. <coughs> I'm still Rich, here, says, uh, Rich says, Oi, stop copying him. Hey, Richard, if that's what you're asking. Special. And Nick said he's got something that shape. Is he toilet roll holder? How big are your toilet rolls? Evening, Huey. Huey, Huey. Uh, uh. I can't sing it. <laughs> My days as a professional singer are over. Well, always me. <laughs> Eva saying her Chinese was awesome today. Very nice. My soup was average. <laughs> you own any solids at all at the moment, Mark, or not? Uh, I've had to take a couple of steps back. I had a couple of near misses. I tried. I tried. Uh, I tried the other day. I tried a piece of chicken breast and it, it literally almost killed me. Killed me. So, All right. But, uh, I've taken a step back because I, I scared myself a bit. So, back on the soup, porridge, scrambled eggs, that kind of stuff. Funny, before all this happened, there was there was literally 
nothing I wouldn't eat. I, I, I'd be happy to try any kind of food, and I pretty much did. Probably why I got in this mess. But now there's about five or six things I can eat, that's about it. Okay. Yes, Eva, definitely better than the tube. Glad it's gone. Wayne, remind me later, I need to ask you something. Uh, you need to ask me something later, Mark. Yeah. <laughs> why, did I know, why did I know you'd do that? <laughs> <Don't talk laughs> You're asking me to remember something, Mark. It's called brain Yeah, training. yeah Jane's just sort of laughing. I can ask you it here. <clears throat> Your uh, wood fella, the guy that's got the sawmill, I'm yeah. trying to find either three and a half by three and a half or four by four oak spindles. Can't find I them anywhere. Any you know? No. Home of wood. English Woods, Ed Oliver, Yandles, none of them can do it. Um, do you remember those bearings I was asked to make? Yeah. Well, they've got to be 80, 80 millimetre, so I need three and a half inch to be able to turn them to round. But they have to be oak. It doesn't want anything but oak. Hmm. I suppose the customer is always right. So, All right. Um, right. Seeing as how deals back, give me, give me five. Okay. One, two, okay, three, right. four, five. Uh, twelve inch, Keith. Three and a half by three and a half by twelve, or four by four by twelve. Gotta make eight of them. Thanks, Rich. Yeah, I'll, I'll try and remember to ask him later. <laughs> They're all so helpful. <laughs> Hello, Rob. Rambo cops in the house. Boom. <clears throat> you right, mate? I should rattle now. That was eight tablets. You know how that goes. Yeah. No, I was lucky. I, had, I When I came out, I had to take 32 different tablets a day. But obviously, I had to crush them all up. Because they all just went straight in through the tube. 32 in total a day or, or every every time you had to take them? No, 32 in total every day. Oh, I'm beating you. <laughs> Just for today, I'm beating you. Every four hours, it's far too many. This is the big one at the end of the day. Where they, well, end of the day. It's the one where they throw in all the anti-inflammatories and all that crap with them. And the stomach yeah. lining tablets and all that guff. 
Mark, can I ask you a question, mate? Asks Huey. Go on then, Huey. Fire away. I'm filled with trepidation now. While we're waiting for that question, Huey, Huey is asking me, uh, was that a good poo deal? Um, don't know, mate. It's been a couple of days. <laughs> Can't remember that far back. Thanks for that, Tom. I don't think I know Mike Nash. Are you just carving detail into that, Andy, so as to, to create a step across the shape? Yeah. And then you're slowly sort of, okay, I get it. I understand. I understand. I keep choosing the wrong bit. I know what effect I want, but I'm not getting the right bit. Um, so this is... Um, oh, I think I've got it. I think this might be it. Just check. Yeah, there we go. Got it. Don't worry. Better go over. Are you there, Mark? Yes. Right, the biggest I've got is three and a half inch square by 28 inch long. Are those real inches, win? Yep, real inches. Uh, I'll gladly buy that off you, mate. Right, I, how, how quick are you wanting it? Uh... He's sending me the pattern piece, which I'll probably get middle of next week. So, no, no huge rush. Right. So, should I just bring it down to deals then? That'd be good. Yeah. That'd be no good. bother. Thank you. Uh, please remind me. Please remind me on um, sometime the week coming up to going down to deals, so I remember to put it in the car. <laughs> Again, you think I'm gonna remember that? Yes, I will. I will. I've already forgotten what we're talking about. You weren't here when we started. Oh, there's a bunch of there's a bunch of these out in the chat now. Uh, Mark says, Mark, you could could you not laminate thinner pieces to make up the dimension you want? I've just answered um, that in the chat. Uh, Eva's back, but she wants more food. Uh, Flaming Tunnel says, Andy got a got a shirt. Uh, getting Max to sleep before my live. We'll watch the rest after. I'll see somebody over there for them. Uh, don't don't drop in. Don't worry. It won't be missed. Uh, take care, yeah. Nick. Um, no, Rob. They're going to be bearings for the next piece of farm machinery. So, says Mark. Um, real simple things. Wayne, don't forget to put the oak blank in the car to take to Dales. Cheers, Barry. Says, you're all heart, mate. I don't care what anybody else says about you. Keith is asking, have you um, found some oak, Mark? Uh, yes, Keith. Wayne's got some. 
Um, the stuff I've got three and a half inch square, Keith, unless you've got a source for anything bigger than that. No, Eva, that was a joke. So yes. he's saying he's got some he's got some four inch square mark. Four inch would actually be better. Four four inch would be better because that'll make up for uh, just in case he's you need to yeah. make sure that <laughs> you need to confirm that it's 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 real four inches though. This is true. Message me later, Keith. Please. Thank you everybody for your help. those of you that were going to remind me to put the yoke in the car don't bother now that <laughs> just remind you for the laugh i feel um i feel some sort of men in black moment is required only instead of one of those pen things it's a <laughs> it's shaped like a bow gouge what are we talking about Wayne forgetting stuff. Sorry? I've just come in. What's going on? Who are um, you? What? No, I thought I thought the answer was 13. It was. 42. Definitely 13. Oh, that's right. It is. It, it is 42, sequence. isn't it? No, no. It depends what sequence you're on. Well, 8 usually comes before 13. The Babel's fish says it's 42. Yeah, the Babel fish is a lion shit. Responsible for more hey. wars. It's responsible for more wars than than anything else. No, I said the Babel fish. I understood what you said. <laughs> and I was setting a line completely Mark, Mark. from there. <laughs> Mark, uh, Keith is asking how many bits of 12 inches do you want? Uh, three, please, Keith. Good lord, he's a greedy boy. Mark wants three twelve inches. Thanks, Barry. He I'll try and remember that. He wants eight bearings, but he's he possibly wants another eight afterwards. <coughs> I feel quite privileged because I've actually got a farmer to spend money. Yeah. Did you take my advice and overcharge? Yes. Because <laughs> he'll be back. I'll try to haggle. Well, that's why I said overcharge. Yes. In case I, try I, to haggle. I overcharged suitably and got the price I wanted originally. There you go. And that's the way like to do it. He feels like he's done the over. So Keith is asking, Mark, is that one times three foot or two times three foot? <laughs> three times one foot. Well, just that's the same as one times three foot. Yeah, I know that. I just said it differently. <laughs> <laughs> Could I have... Oh, my... Three, Sorry, Mike three. just come in. Missed him coming in. Hello, Mike. Could I please have Keith three one foot four by four oak spindle blanks? Please, thank you very much. I think that's clear now. Eva yeah. saying, and I'm going <laughs> to try. And, I'm going to try and interpret what she says. Was ooh, I chewed in a Sichuan uh, pepper. That'll wake you up. Tasty. Lovely. Very tasty. 
I could just about taste one of them right now. Yeah. That's the same kind of effect as rubbing wasabi paste on your nostrils. Oh, mate. See, wasabi paste, one of the things we did from my wife's brother, they do a thing called the brothers. It's a bit like kind of a wonderful combined hen party, stag night kind of thing, but they do it in the morning. You've got to go and try and get through all the girls and they ask questions and set the guys' tasks together. It's a traditional thing. Um, and one of the things is, is all the guys have to eat wasabi paste, which was no big deal. And then they we're all going to have to drink whiskey. So I, I took one for the team and drank all the whiskey. <laughs> they all laugh. <laughs> Rob, wasabi is paste was no what, biggie. Rob is asking what is oak like for Turner. It's very nice for Turner, it's Rob. Cool. Unless, unless it's very dry, in which case it's very hard. And very hot. Yeah. Do you quench your toes when you turn an oak, Wayne? Me? No. Mm. You just run them hot. Just yeah. them often. So when I was um when I was doing my training last year with uh, Gregory, and he was he was regularly saying just dip in water to take the edge off the heat. Just dip in water to take the edge off the heat. You don't want to his words were not quite precisely you don't want it to get too hot because it'll you know, it'll lose its edge quicker. It won't lose its temper, so I don't no. see how it can lose its edge. No, I'm just, I'm, you know, I mean, it's, it's not yeah, something the, I've done. To tell, to tell, to tell, you, to tell you the truth, <laughs> if, you, if you turn in a very dry, hard piece of wood, yes, yeah. it's going to lose its edge anyway. Yeah. Maybe he's trying to cool it down so it doesn't, or well, the hot little chips of wood here didn't land on these, on these delicate little handies. I must admit, I do like wasabi. Tommy Dunn, okay. uh, Tommy say, so I'm not sure if he's describing himself, a part of himself, or the wood we were talking about with the following comment. He says it's very old and it's rock hard. Yeah, definitely. Boom, boom. I can make my joker. They make wasabi space candy. Stuff that pops in your mouth. That sounds good. Yeah, it does. I like the wasabi covered peanuts. Did you just say you did I I think I might have just misheard that completely. What you what? just said. Do you like to What wasabi covered peanuts? Oh, that's all right. Phew. Okay. Sorry, sorry, my bad. Misheard you. <laughs> What did you think you heard? I think I'm more interested. Don't ask that. Don't I just had to check because I was like, hold on a minute, you can't say stuff like that on my life. I think I was that, what? That's just not what, what Wayne? What uh, really? No, no, he didn't say that. I best check. That was what was going through my head, I'll be honest. <laughs> I should know better. I apologize, mate. My my apologies. I don't mean to think that your mind is in the gutter. That's mine, so I apologise. Back to it, with my head, head down and everything. Sorry. Yeah, Rob, well, when wood gets that old, mate, it's going to be like concrete. Rob says... The three-inch purple heart he tried to turn was 20 years old. That's why he struggled. Oh, Dave, see, have you been here all the time, Dave? Hello, Dave. See, I can do that, boys. Mike said he made horseradish sauce from horseradish once. Well, that's the best way to make horseradish sauce, Mike. <laughs> and then he, then he said, never again. It makes you cry far worse than onions. I love horseradish. 
See, I was I was desperately trying to stop the sarcasm gene then. <laughs> I have my sarcasm dial turned all the way to zero. <laughs> and Rich has still got some orange and yellow tiger oak waiting to be turned. I've never heard of Tiger Oak. Oh, there's all different types of oak, Mark. You can even get cork oak. All right, now I'm going to have to ask. What did you just say? Cork oak. Coke. Cork oak. Sorry, that's cork my bad. Cork oak. I thought he said coke oak. No, oh, cork. That, as, that, as in the... As in the things that go into the tops of wine bottles. And, and he's tapping his hand. And he's losing it. The cork is actually the bark from the tree. It is indeed. So yeah, it is indeed. Don't they peel it off? The yeah, they peel it off and it yeah, they peel it off and it regrows. Yeah. Truly renewable. And then they, then they compress it, don't they, to make the corks? Or do they? I don't they cut think it they need the to. Dye? Yeah, they, 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 just, they just cut it up and make it into, into corks. They use a pressed dye to cut it, I think. I've seen them doing it, I think, somewhere. Rob saying that uh, red oak and brown oak account for over 500 species of oak. They say the term tiger in wood effect is just the way it's been cut. I did not know that. Every day's a school day, Dave. Thank you. Yeah. If anybody wants to know anything else about. Um, oak or any other trees go online and look up the wood database it's an absolutely brilliant resource when okay, has just give us a give it give, give us a second andy i'll put the link in uh, when, uh, 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 yep nice one I thanks a, wayne i had a i had a look i can't believe the database wayne number six isn't the large so i'm a bit, a bit upset by that See, now I quite like that effect. I look quite good too. It's quite interesting. You know, um, okay. um, I'm going to say something to you, I think, which might be interesting. Have you ever considered carving Shai Halud? Who to what? Oh, the worm oh, from Dune. Worm from Dune. Paul Atreides. Yeah. The House Atreides. No, but the, uh, the worm, yes. Anyway, one for another time. Just a reminded yes. me. Oh, there you go. The, uh, the segment, the segments, kind of thing. That look almost organic. Yeah. Cool. I'll tell you what else would be nice. The Chris knife. Carve a Chris knife. Ooh. That would look good as well. The the, is, the, worm. Massive, the problem is. And the problem that I've got is my brain just goes crazy with the options. So, and the wife's going back to work. This is going to be my regular slot now. I'm going to stick with Saturdays. I can't do Mondays because of work and uh, child commitments. So I'm sort of back down to one day live a, a, a week. So... Um, Ellen or Sunday to... for me if you want for a few weeks. Well, 
problem is, I, in doing this on a Saturday, I'm kind of using up my time with Luke on a Saturday. So, um, I was going to keep Sundays for a watching your boy. Um, <laughs> and uh, Luke wants to learn carving, so I'm going to get him in the workshop. We've got two Dremels, so he's going to get proper lesson on how to use a Dremel safely um, has been suggested that I do uh, like uh, tips and tricks and safety things with the Dremel so if that's something that people would be interested in um, let us know in the comments I'm sure the boys will pass that information on I know it was Richard uh, the beard that suggested it um recently anyway there may well have been a few others previously i'm sure dale and i have very um if it's something that you guys are interested in i know i'm kind of roughly showing you a couple of relatively easy te uh texture and techniques but if you watch me week by week you should be getting um the tips and tricks from that anyway so let me know what you think we'll go from there i think it's fascinating to be honest i love watching you carve thanks mate it's not something you see a lot of on, you, on youtube so I... more power to you stick at it cool thanks mate um Live carving, live carving's um, very different to that the likes of Bobby Dukes because projects that Bobby takes on take a lot longer than you can do in a couple of hours. Um, that's not to say that I don't do the the long projects as well. Um, it's just adapting. Isn't it? Yeah, you can make that the longer projects can be your videos and yep. your lives could just be your lives. You know? Okay. You've got you've got two outlets then. Hmm. Right, I'm actually using boiled linseed oil on this. Um Andy, he's asking what what's your uh, what would you name as your better woods to cut to carve? Ooh. Um, in terms of ease, horse chestnut, the stuff that I've got at the moment is proper easy to carve. Um, in terms of whether or not it's structurally sound, no, it's not structurally sound, so it can be a bit of a pain in the bum. Um, I do quite like apple partly because of the smell i can't stand oak oak is just a pain splinters um and i just don't I, like it man, the, the people i've seen carving oak tend to tend to use knives a lot towards the end they'll, they'll rough cut and then they're carving with actual blades it would seem yeah is that, is that be fair yeah yeah, yeah old yeah. school yeah, we, I, I can do the chisel cuts and stuff like that. I do yeah, but... projects, but on something like this, you guys aren't going to want to see me do. That'd tap, be tap. like watching. Tap, tap, someone... tap, tap, tap. Yeah. That'd be like watching someone sand for a couple of hours, and no one really wants to do that, do they? So, um... right. Rob, Rob is asking if there's any chance of a collab between you and Bobby. Um, had <laughs> that somewhere. Well, I, yeah, that would be very cool. I would be 100% up for it for obvious reasons. Um, working with Bobby would be cool. Um, he's obviously a busy man. Um, I haven't yet sent him a message. I have been told to speak to him about um, doing a collab. Um, it's just life has kind of taken over this weekend i've had a few bits and bobs that i've had to do um and i don't want to seem too keen you only just seen 
Rich's live, so do you know what I mean? I'm not a stalker. <laughs> oh, yeah, anyway. Sorry, that, that laugh was kind of inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you're right, I knew what you meant. We're two very different styles of uh, of stuff, but I think um, I think it might actually work. Yeah, but that could work for both of you then. Yeah, I think it might. Um, looking forward to um, possibly coming over for makers. Uh, this year coming, well, definitely coming over from Makers this year coming, so it's a actual chance to sit down and have a chat with him in the evening and uh, that kind of stuff. Maybe even, depending on where he stays, we might even get to do a project. That'd be even better. I'm still know. undecided about Makers Central. Definitely worth it. Regardless of who's going. That was not that it's coping with the, all the people and oh, well, walking around. I I don't like being in massive groups of people. Uh, in fact, I hate it. That's why I sit in my garage for most of the part. Um. It's fine, mate. Trust me. There's so many people. You'll be just like, yeah. wow. Yeah. Well, that's really cool, man. That is, that is really nice. Apple get, has the nicest grain, going back to what Keith asked. Look at that. That's stunning. I like that. Right. That will probably... I'll leave that to settle for a little bit. And then... Maybe hit it with some um, uh, la, 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 um, blue light stuff. Huh? Andy, yes. he was asking, those hooks you're making, are they, do they have any function or are they just eye candy? They're Andy candy. Well, there's a good catchphrase. Hashtag Andy candy. They're Andy Candy. That's what they are. There you I go. still think bookends. The t-shirt in that one, mate. I'm, I'm sticking to my original bookends. Yeah. Oh <laughs> we, I've, I've coined a few phrases over the time, um, but I think... Um, that one's quite Candy, good. I like that one. Yeah, I think that one's going to yeah, be a key. that's good. That's a t-shirt. We'll get that trending on Twitter. <laughs> yeah, Andy Candy. But it's it's got to be part of the Andy says set uh, thing because it's it's only can come from me. Do you know what I mean? Nobody else. Can. Well, what you need to do is you need to take a leaf out of all of the the scroll saw sign makers in the US, which seem to employ employ various tricks of 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 set dressing, which include people. So you may want to do something of a, a not quite the film one to, but Calendar Girls with some of your Andy Candy. Carefully placed pieces yeah. <laughs> and tasteful <Ooh>. shots. <laughs> tasteful shots of Andy Candy. We yeah. like the Viking. Uh, no, no, no. Andy's yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. Right. It may not be okay. in a helmet, but. <laughs> <laughs> I quite like that effect. So, what I'm actually going to do on this one is the reverse. So, instead of being on the interior curve, I'm going to do it on the exterior curves. I like that. I think it's... You could go... They could both go together. See where I'm going? I think I quite like that. Yeah. Right. So, I'll put myself back on mute, and I'll be back in a still couple over, of minutes. Still over 20 in, Andy. Yes, get in. Hello, people. Oh, who's uh, this? Hope you're all well. Um, 
Can you show the spatula again? But it was frozen like that. Oh, oh, the camera just went funky. Yeah, yeah, there you go, mate. You're all good. Get back now. Yeah, I, I love those scales. They look nice. Wayne's just been phoned. So he's asked him if he's been missed PPI. Hey, yeah. oh, and he's exploded. Oh. Yeah, and he's gone. You have to know it is. You have to. Yeah. No, you. No, you've got to fill in. So you've got you to. Start to do a mushroom. Look at my mushroom. <laughs> Please come back, Andy. Come on, you have to do more than this. You've got to have a collect. You must have a collection of things you can talk about. There, there we go. go for All back. Boom. Sure. Can't hear you, mate. Yeah, he's muted. There he is. Sorry, guys. Um, I just had. I was just phoned the wife and told Luke to get off the internet because he's slurring me down. Ha ha! But you're all done now. My apologies, peeps. My apologies. That's all right. You're all back now. So, did you? Did you? Did you? <laughs> yeah. Did you like your starring role then, Mark? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> just as well as just as well I wasn't doing anything inappropriate. Yeah, that's it. As usual. Wayne's caught me out a few times. Oh. <laughs> nope. Not that I was doing anything inappropriate, obviously. <laughs> well. Wow. All right, that's just so I've got a rough guideline. <laughs> Eva's saying that you're giving her a lot of inspiration tonight, Andy. Well, wow. I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> cool, yeah. <laughs> Lovely. Probably best leave it at that. Yeah, yeah, we'll just leave it there. Right. Um, so let me do the other ones first as well. Let me go. Hmm. Hmm. Which way would be cooler? That way or that way? That way. What time have we got on the clock? That's seven forty-five, so. Okay. Right. Well, I don't know if I'm going to be finished at eight. So, if you guys watch Nick the um, Flaming What's It, um, feel free head on over. Um, I'm not going to stop because I haven't finished yet. Um, I uh, cool. would not be offended if you guys leave. Um, please feel free. I am uh, just Sorry, here. Andy. When Nick left, he said he didn't mind if people stayed. He'd understand. Oh, okay. I'm paraphrasing. He also said. He also said we wouldn't be missed either. Yeah. All right. Oh, I wonder what he meant by that. 
one can only guess. Well, that's a bit rude. That's a shame. Still. I'm glad I just didn't keep, see that. Just keep doing what you're doing, mate. Yeah. All right. In that case, I will. Uh, so... I have to say I'm a little bit disappointed. In that case, guys, stay. Don't bother. <clears throat> I'm going to mute myself before I say something, so uh, excuse me. Eva's saying she feels a little bit alone in the chat because she's the only one talking. Yeah, there's quite a quite a few that have gone by. Eva in there, just on her own. Because you have a lot to say, Eva. Don't worry about it. Absolutely. Exactly, Keith. Eva also said, and I think she's talking about the mushroom, Mark. She needs a smaller one for mending wool socks. That's what I said to you the other day. When yes, are you going to start I, darning? I keep getting that comment. I don't understand what it means, but... Do you not, honestly? Yeah, honestly. Really? You you, you don't know what a darning mushroom is? No. Nope. Oh, you made thanks. one today. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you did actually make one today. <laughs> oh. If if somebody had a hole in the sock, um going going back a long time, if somebody else had a hole in the sock, they used a darning mushroom to help repair it. So you put put the darning mushroom inside the sock where the hole is, and then you actually stitched the hole in the sock up. All right. Oh, I see what you mean. Okay. Oh. Every day is a school day. I just thought it was a decorative mushroom. <laughs> then I went out of my way to make sure it didn't look like something else. <laughs> which, Keith mentioned, which Keith mentioned in the chat. What did he? Yes, he did. And I thought, oh no, Keith's coming late. And, and he didn't he didn't hear about the the restrictions on what was said. That's right. I think Marley had gone by then. <coughs> Thank you, Rich. You're right, Dale. Be very quiet. A little bit nauseous, mate. Keeping my mouth shut just in case what I'm not expecting comes out. Fair dues. Could be sad. Sitting here and going, going to say, and Huey! <laughs> 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 Rather than hello, Huey. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right, mate. Just let us know if you're okay. Yeah, uh, Rich is here. Mr. Beard. Keith's still here. Uh, uh, yeah, Keith's saying, sorry, Mark, it was really late to you, so hopefully I managed to offend someone. It wasn't that, Keith, it's just that there was a youngster in. My, my niece's son, Marley, he likes to watch my lives, and he's only 10. So I did... I did uh, preface the the live with no inappropriate comments about what I was a, about to make. I, whoever asked Marley what he was cool with. 
<laughs> rather than letting a grown up make that choice for him. <laughs> it's all right, Dan, because he's Cornish and he couldn't understand a word you said anyway. It's fine, mate. The only the only important <laughs> thing about the only so important thing about Cornish is is that the, the, they were so unoriginal that they could only think up two colours for their flag. One of which was black. <laughs> God, you get shot for saying that, Daddy. Of course it would, but then again, it's it's fine. You know, you just stand there and say, "All right, who's going to who's who's actually going to who's actually going to argue with me about it?" You go, "Oh, there's going to be bloody outsiders." Even though I've even though I'm go, a big boy, yeah, yeah, shush, show me the tin and show me the show, show me the ice cream, and I'm done. <laughs> and the pasties. No, no, get, get pasties everywhere. Get pasties everywhere. The towns claim pasties. They call it a pizza. They just haven't closed it. <laughs> Even though I grew up in Butte, I went to school here and probably spent more of my life in Butte than anywhere else. Because I had the misfortune of being born in Devon, I will never be considered a local. I'm always going to be an outsider. Or an that. incomer. Or an incomer is the call up here. We call them Emmets down here. Emmets in Cornwall and Crockles in Devon. I'm proud to be from Devon. All my nieces and nephews and their children, they were all born in Cornwall. So we have a long running feud. <laughs> Which of course I win because I'm older and they respect me. Right. Yeah, exactly. She's not in a church. Well, Mice just <laughs> said his Mice just said his spindle gouge clamping head came today, so he can finally start learning to use the spindle gouge. Is that the clamping head for doing the sharpening, Mike? He's got the sorby, hasn't he? No, he's made his own sorby. Sorry, he's made he's made um, a belt something that, system, yeah, a belt sanding system based on the Pro Edge. All right, very good, very good. He's bought the record power clamp. Well, painting's lovely, but I, I'm biased. It's not a patch on the North Devon coast, the Atlantic coast. We're known as the North Devon savages up here. They're all civilised down in Paynton. East Devon. Yeah, we spent many a year going down to Croyd Bay. Croyd Bay is lovely. It is. I don't, well, I don't know what it's like now, uh, but because it was when I was a to kid, be, we used to go down there. We used to go down there every year. To be fair, Wayne, it ain't changed. It's all oh, right. Those, it's one of those places that's been looked looked over, and all the better for it. You know. Yeah, definitely. Most of the locals go to Croyd. Uh, we yeah. don't get we don't get that many outsiders coming to Croyd. Don't get that and many makes, outsiders coming to Croyd. It makes it well, it does. It makes it all the better. <laughs> yeah, it does. I mean, it was Mark, um... Mark, 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 Mark. 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 Got a question. Mark. Got a question. Got a Go question. On. Do you guys? I mean. Everyone else kind of thing who's a wood tunnel kind of in the country has to wind up buying their own smock. But, I mean, do you guys get issued them when you go to school? <laughs> yes. Yes, we do. Uh, <laughs> unfortunately. I'm getting my eye out, Wayne. I'm just winding. I'm just going to start uh, I'm going to start assembling a bunch of jokes to get back at them with them for the wisecrack about Marley kind of thing. We're just, they're going to start pile up now. Brace yourself. <laughs> and and when, you, when you turn 13, you get your own piece of straw as well. Really? Your own piece of straw? Yes. Does it come complete with an apple? Oh, no apples. That's for outsiders, eh? 
You see, what's going to happen now, I think, is I'm going to do some photoshopping on a two Ronnie sketch. Um, <laughs> on a certain two Ronnie sketch and just run with that. <laughs> I, know, I know the one you mean. Yeah. Right, Keith, Keith, Keith just said he'll be back in about 15 minutes. All right, Keith. Oh, Rob said um, Mark, he visited a teapot making place but he can't remember where it was. Okay. Dartington. Teapot making place. That yeah, is Mike saying, Mike's saying about the clam thing he's got, he's going to replace the stem to use a Sobe style boss though. Very good. They, uh, Dartington is well known for its crystal, but they also have a big pottery there as well. It's not that far from Penton. It's near Totnes. Now there's a place that's very strange. If you want to go and see eclectic arts and crafts, go to Totnes. Some of the uh, nicest but strangest people in the country live there. Really? Oh yes. Very strange people. I'm trying desperately to think of the name of the of the particular church that's in and around um, where Yandos is. There's a heavy presence around that way. Bakers? No, not Quakers. Um, around near Martok? Yeah. Whose name escapes Mormons? me. Mormons or Baptists, probably. No, it's a, it's a flavor of... Anyway. Buzz is back. Do, 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 do. do you know, I'm going to find a way we to, 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 to electrocute <laughs> Mark, to, to electrocute Mark, to electrocute Baz when he's at the barbecue every time he does that. Some sort of remote control device. We'll have to get him drunk enough to fit it so that whenever he gets it, he does do 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 do, it goes off and electrocutes him. Like a dog shock collar, that, perhaps. It doesn't have to be that complicated. Just make a shock stick and jab him with it. No, no, no. He'd be too far away. He's quite a big chap, as our Baz. Mate, do we see, sir? Do we see? <clears throat> Sure, we could figure something out. Direct current. What we have to do between now and then is find out what noise Baz. I have an idea. I know what I can do. I'm, I'm lending Baz my small lathe, and I'll lend it to him and give it to him, and make sure that I've removed the drive belt first, <laughs> so he gets it all the way home. He won't start. <laughs> The only thing with that is, Mark, you've just, you, you've just told him. Well, that's true. I haven't thought that through, really, had I? No. You probably should have done that in the hangout when he wasn't there. Yeah. I know well, what'll annoy him. I, I, well, know, I know say. exactly what, what, what... No, 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 he, he needs to hear this. I know exactly what'll annoy him. A one-and-a-half-pound ball-peen ball hammer across the back of the head. <laughs> Slight variation there, Andy, with the with the scaling on the outside. Interesting. He's going to be mounted. Oh, he's gone again. Oh, hello. Why does it keep coming back to me? So, so <laughs> now you have to. So now you have to go and entertain us through the miracle of dance. Oh, he's back. He's press back. the wrong button. I was trying to press mute and I pressed uh, exit off my face. Do you know what I mean? Turn on the red line again. <laughs> Tut. What fruity number are you partaking of tonight, Wayne? Do tell. What, what? What fruity little number 
Are you partaking? Oh, just my usual a bottle of Pinotage. Very nice. <laughs> I like the float, but I think I like the one. Thank you for listening to the 80s. Goodbye. My lips are just kicked off without a wife. Yeah. I think I like the one we are doing now a little bit more. Thank you. Pardon me? I like the one you're doing now a little bit better than the first one you did. Oh, cool, so man. I do like them, I do like them both. Thanks, buddy. You've done quite well tonight with quite a few projects. So I'm quite pleased. Yeah, you've got through it. Barry says he won't be drinking at the bar with you. We've got news for you, mate. <coughs> Tommy Dunn's just seen he's he's just got one bottle of Hop Goblin and a bottle of Newcastle Brown left. Ooh, Hop Goblin. Catastrophe, Tommy. That's a complete catastrophe. My sympathies. Oh no, Hop Goblin's nice, man. Well, yeah, Barry, only got two bottles. I hear a rumour that SK Crafts might be going to Sitting Bone. So there could be a pickup if you did want to have a drink. Just saying. Who's that? Were you talking to me then? Sorry. I can Bazza. just about hear the conversation. Oh, right. Bazza. Oh, we're talking about Barry, mate. I can drink because Rich is driving. Nah. I feel that's a win, Andy. Okay. Almost. I can drink stop staying in a hotel. And Steve's driving. <laughs> Good job. What does that look like? Mike's just said that Newcastle Brown is one of his nemesis drinks. Whoa. That's what I'm off, eh, then? I went through a stage with Mike and Jeff. Too much red wine that does it to me. Makes me, makes me decide to... Makes things want to put on a, a, a second appearance win. If I've too much red wine. <laughs> That was what that was a laugh of no, 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 amateur. That was <laughs> well, when it's not, it just seems to be it's an impatient drink for me, you know, that it won't wait to go all the way through, it likes to come back out the, the way it went in. I call those impatient drinks, it just does. I'm, I'm not a lover of wine, but to be fair, alcohol in general, I don't think a whole lot of. I know I'm just, I know I'm just feeding Dale ammo here, but I actually prefer rosé. Oh, oh, oh! You, you were totally feeding your, uh, feeding Dale more ammo. <laughs> yeah, we'll, put that, we'll put that bot bullet at the bottom of the rack until it's the time to think. Yeah, yeah. Hold fire. Rosé, the lovely one. 
Nice bit of rose, guys. Uh, Rob is saying Newcastle Brown was invented by accident. There was a fire which burned the hobs, and the brewery sold it off cheap. Then people asked for it, so they started making it. I used to get it for nothing when I, when I was young, because I knew somebody who worked at the brewery. Thanks, <laughs> Sorry, mate. Oh, you fine. I used to too as well, Wayne, but that was only when I worked behind the bar. I'm not entirely sure the boss knew. I could be wrong. I'm sure I told him. Used to work in a biker pub down here. No longer with us. A bit of um, what's that beard? Rich. Rich has said, oh man, is it that old? Um, let's see. 19. Oh, God. R Rob will probably correct me on this, but I'm sure they started making Newcastle Brown in around about 1937. You were just about legal age to drink this time. It's going to clap there. Uh, Rich, everybody used to drink this as a kid. It's what they used to put kids to sleep. Yeah, I used it on... No, I didn't. No, I did not. I didn't do that to my son at all. Big twice, big twice. An old wives' hell. <laughs> Ask others. Going through these drums quite quickly. How are we doing? Oh, down to yeah. 15. You're all right, though, mate. It's doing okay? Yeah. yeah. I'm sure there's one or two people double screening, but that's all right. <laughs>
So much for not watching any sand in Mike. Or was it Keith? I can't remember. Yeah, but it's not two hours though, mate. The red's actually a sanding channel, did you know that? Uh yeah, I can I think it's on now, isn't it? <laughs> Mary Dan Slider, but I haven't heard in other years. Mary Dan's pretty nice. <coughs> oh. It's an it's as I was gonna say something else that I've now backed off from the word I was gonna use. When you stood on his end, I was gonna say so what I was gonna say is begins with an E and then I just dropped it completely. Kiss <laughs> <laughs> back, okay. Hello, Keith. Hello, Keith. Okay, so I can see the light. Bit of oil in. Bit of oil. Job again. Yeah, I like that. I'm gonna go with the old boiled linseed again. I think he's on. He's on the boil. He's on the boil again. Love. He's on the boil. Seems For some to... reason, it, it reminds me of a, a, a seashell or a snail shell. Reminds yeah. Me shy, reminds me of Shy Halud. That's what it reminds me of. And there's a hint of the, there's a hint of the, the Rebel Alliance about it. Yes, there is a bit. But that's because they've hijacked what is effectively a gloriously an organic form. Lovely. He's quite pretty, mate. I like it. Thank you. Rich has said he's loving it, Andy. Thanks, Rich. And Steve Coombs has said that's going to look awesome, Andy. Awesome. Cool. Thanks, man. Big Steve, thank you, guys. I'll tell you what, that apple's quite lovely. Either I think you're a little overly worried about linseed oil being susceptible. So, um, linseed oil less. So, what's is it? Tongue oil or is it Danish, Danish oil, Wayne? That can that automatically combust. You know, spontaneously combust in the in the bin. <laughs> yeah, any sort of oil can do that. Any sort of oil. I've seen it happen uh, at one garage that I worked at when I was a mechanic, where people just used to throw the oily rags into into a bin, and that up, just went up. Um, anything can. You've got to be especially careful. Um, I know people like to see flames used and fire used and, and things like this on turnings and stuff. You've got to be especially careful if you're doing that in a dusty environment. Because that can just go up. They yeah. go gaboom because you've got the right mix yeah, of oxygen it, and, and, yeah. and fuel. And fire yes, fire. exactly. Yeah, fire uh, fire you fire often fire. hear about that. Flour, flour is especially dangerous. Yeah. And and custard and fertilizer. It's a rather strange mix. That's custard where that's where the you, you know that you know that's where the the term ship came from don't you it ship high in transit so what they wanted to do is make sure that the bags were always supported so that they wouldn't get um damaged or anything so they made them hang them up so they were all free hanging so that only one bag could ever fall down or or or, or be damaged so that if it fell down and it did combust there was a limited amount that would go up that's where the term ship yeah. high ship high in transit came from or shit i never knew that that's where it came from. 
So when you see here the phrase shit goes I've, down. I've, I've got the, replying to Eva, I've got to say, I haven't heard it, uh, linseed oil being any more dangerous than any other type of oil, to tell you the truth. No, no, linseed oil. And yes, yes, Eva, custard. Feel free to look up YouTube. Custard and explosions. <laughs> Yeah, so I, I, I have a, I have a, a chemical bin or a bin outside that I put most of the stuff in that I'm, I'm unhappy with. I used to put them in a, 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 a shared bin inside, but it was just one of those moments where you just think, you know, sooner or later, sooner or later, I'm going That's to forget. Go. I'm going to make yeah. a mistake here, you know. Um, See how more, uh, uh, set and fire mine goes in the fire. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say mine at the end of the, every day. Well, mine goes. Uh, Sit outside, set fire to them until they're all gone. I don't want them hanging around in the workshop while I'm not in there. Um, and the, if they're seeing um, custard powder, that is because of the amount of corn flour that is used in custard yep. powder. It's a fuel. We use for rocket fuel, can't it? I can indeed. And gunpowder is basically carbon, charcoal to be correct, with a, a, a an oxygen, mixed with an oxygen. Boom! We like that. A couple of other chemicals help it along, obviously, but that's principally it. Well, I'm going to leave that for, uh, well, actually, I'll probably give it another coat of linseed a little bit later on, along with this one. Oh, it's got dusty. So along with the other one, I'll give them a coat of linseed oil, job done, leave that to dry for 24 hours, then we'll see what the finish is like. If my Yorkshire grit's turned up, I'll get um, some Yorkshire grit on there maybe, just to give it a shine, stick it on the buffing wheel. Yes. Oh. Um, Bob isn't my uncle, he's called Jimmy. Um, so there we go, that's them two. Right. Beardy Combs. Oh, Beardy Combs. Birdie. Textured and that. So yeah, that um, I'll get those finished off, give them a quick hand sand down just to get all the rough edges off, um, sharpen up the points if possible. Um, so we get those sorted. And last but by no means least, uh, the spatula. Oh. Dragon scales. Yeah, the dragon scale, and then plain on one side, but with burning. I'll get that on the um, buffing wheel at some point as well, just to dry the shine and the color. Yeah. So yeah, it's lovely. Looks lovely, young man. It's lovely. So we like. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for being my earworm. Um, no Thank you, everyone, for sticking with me while um, we're carving. That's great. I thoroughly appreciate it. Um, let me know what you think. PM me um, with any suggestions. Um, if you want me to do lessons in how to use a Dremel correctly, um, Otherwise, you have a good evening. Don't think there's a whole lot going on this evening. So, um, hope you're all well. See you at lunchtime tomorrow for Steve's Live. Cool, Bindies. See you later, folks. Cool. Take it easy, guys. Bye. Bye. Night. Bye. 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 Bye.